three, oh, three, two, one, go. So first off, I'm going in this pipe because it saves three seconds, so we're just going through the level the normal way. Yeah. Definitely. Because the game does what? <laughs> um, some people ask if it's faster to hit the flagpole at the bottom, but it doesn't matter where you hit it, the flag has to come all the way down. But if you hit it at the top, then uh, Mario doesn't like get stuck on the base of the flagpole, so you save just a few frames on your way towards the castle. <laughs> yeah. There's like a really short window to jump right there before the Koopa, and that was like the one thing I didn't want to happen. This is one of the more difficult levels in the game. Yeah, this is actually, I would put this in like top three hardest levels. It's really tough. Because of that. <laughs> yeah. And that first jump. So that's the first pipe jump that he does in this run. There's a total of 15 that it'll normally do, but he's gonna cut a few of them out because they're a little difficult for the marathon. Mm -hmm. And this is warpless, so he's gonna do every level. Yeah, and after this we're gonna do warps. <laughs> and the reason you can jump off the edges of the pipes is because they didn't make any, any of the hitboxes in this game very well, so... Uh, Actually, the deadly part of a piranha plant is the stem. The teeth are harmless. Um, you'll notice I'm not getting the fire flower. It's actually a little bit faster to get the fire flower and kill Bowser with your fireballs because then there's no cutscene of like the bridge breaking and him falling in. It saves about 10 seconds if you can keep it through the whole run, but I just prefer to do it this way. There was a second pipe jump. Mm -hmm. You can do a double right here, but it's really hard, so I'm just, oh, just going to do it that way. <laughs> oh, yeah. So he slowed down at the end a little there to avoid ending the timer with a three, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, because if the timer ends in a one, three, or six, then he'll get one, three, or six fireworks, respectively. Um, so six or three are really bad and waste time, and you want to avoid those. One doesn't really make a difference because if you slow down, you wouldn't really save time anyway. Yeah. Um the fish in this level are pretty much random, so I just have to kind of see where they are and react to them. A lot of people don't know that if you hold the A button when you swim, Mario will kind of drop faster, and that helps with some maneuverability. That <coughs> fish, dude. Yeah, this game's really trolly with some of its enemy spawns. They depend on what frame rule you're on. Uh, basically, a frame rule... The game only loads the next level every 21 frames, so you could, like, get to the flagpole, say, like, one frame too late, and then th it'll load the next level 21 frames later, so you just lost 21 frames, even though you only, like, lost one. And vice versa, you can actually, like, waste a few frames in the level and not actually lose any. It's just, like, certain windows you have to get into. Are the fish in this level random as well? Yeah. A lot of the, the enemy randomness is based on what frame rule you're on. Frame rule is more of a big thing during the warp run, isn't it? Yeah. Like, in 8-1, for example, there's uh, the frame rule, the best one for that level, you can't slow down a single frame, and you actually have to hit like the exact right part of the flagpole or you won't get it.
He does a little trick in that level where he falls on the first elevator and then bumps his head on the second one, and it really makes going through there nice and smooth. Otherwise, it's difficult to avoid the fire fall. You'll see the first Hammer Brothers right here. These ones are super easy, but later on they get really like deadly and luck-based. You can go up these stairs without stopping at all, but it's just super precise. Like it, it doesn't look like it would be, but it's really hard to get up without dying. I just want to remind you guys of a couple of the prizes you can get uh, into a drawing for during this block of Super Mario 64, Super Mario Brothers, Mario World, and Mario Sunshine. We've got the Boo Perlers and the Little Bowser plushie, both for $5 yeah. donations. The Mario Bros. cast poster for a $20 donation, and the Mario Perler set for $10. Hopefully I don't, but sometimes uh, there's like a really small window after you jump or swim where the game will just eat your input. And so if I ever just like run off a ledge and don't even jump, that's what happened. In this level you need to listen to the coins. And oh yeah. The yeah, the coins sync with the music right there. It's like an intended thing they did. Shoutouts to Ninja Bro. And again, these fireballs, I just have to, like, look ahead and react to where they are. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're the height of random. They always come up at the same time. The next world's pretty just straightforward if you want to read donations during it. Yes, I would like to read donations. Oh, here they are. I've got a $10 donation from Duke Jesse. Jesse McAstroturf here. Burgers are well textured. Rashiram is also well textured. I love Rashiram. I, I also love burgers. Everyone at SGDQ is well textured for raising so much money for charity. Kevin Sorbo, Propane, and Burger Percent. Please put this towards Sharks as Rosa's name in FF4. Got $10 from Woodus. Shoutouts to Cosmic. Save those frames. Secondly, thanks, thanks to all the other runners at AGDQ. You, are, you all are making a difference by being a part of a great community, and people, please donate to help, make, to help those in need. Would love to be there someday. Woodaz Rekla. Got a $20 donation from David Kuo. Thanks for the big plays and the huge heart. You guys are showing for a great cause. Keep doing the great work you guys do. Thank you, David. I've got a $5 donation from Connie Rocky the Third. That's an awesome name. Hey guys, Gro uh, Grokey3 here. My last <coughs> comment did not get read. I've been waiting for the Super Mario Bros. run all marathon. So hyped. Good luck, Cosmic. Thanks. $25 from Ulrich Crispell. You rock. Also, if maybe we get a little roll call from anybody in the first couple of roll rows at least. I'm Jay Coker. I'm Cosmic D. I'm Tofu31. I'm Iceplug. Slackaholicus. Spoiler Man. D's. 520. Everyone's favorite knowledge? Grandpa. I hate your pie. I freeze more than our minds. Yo, I know it's here. Precision. Three. The bowling. Winogu. Carry Master. <laughs> we went through everyone. Yeah. We got to throw down. A couple of five. I've got a, tw I've got a $20 donation from Jarvitz. Hey guys, glad I could donate in time for the Mega Man block. What? <laughs> <laughs> I want this donation to go towards Cosmic D12 using a Game Genie codes for a little bit. I didn't game. bring it, sorry. Especially VIG, uh, Vignig. 
Otherwise, just give this to Cosmic D12 and Ally Pichu for cutest couple. Otherwise, just give this to Cosmic's choice. Yeah, I think uh, Do we need donations for Solstice 100%? I uh, don't think so. The only things that really haven't been met, the uh, duet is Old Man River. Like yeah. Lo uh, yeah, do that. High eight thousand. You want to put it towards that? Yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, put it to smash. Oh yeah, that that has not been met yet, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly. Oh wait, two minutes. It's fine. <laughs> That's where the Hammer Brothers start to get a little trollier. Not, yeah, 7 that. 1 is the bad level for them. Yeah, just to give you guys a quick update uh, the Blue Glass and I Ate Your Pie Old Man River duet is currently at $8,884.20 out of $10,000 from 400 individual donations. Wow. In that level, there's a Goomba you have to kill or like one of the floating platforms won't even appear. Yeah, the, this game overloads sprites really easily, and instead of lagging the game, it just deletes things constantly. Um, okay, I have to get... Oh, I got terrible luck on this fire bar. That might offset the rest of the level. Okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Kill them. Six two is coming up. It's infamous for being really hard because there's a bunch of pipe jumps, but we'll see how it goes. Was uh, it ain't my button press right there? Ooh. Got fifty dollars and twenty cents from Jonathan Wilson. Laser bomb here. I was a doctor for eighteen months, and I find borders highly offensive. P.S. I am not a doctor. Give me that N64. I slowed down a little bit there, so I wouldn't hit my head on that moving platform. But it doesn't matter in the end because I'd have I'd get a six anyway on the timer. Right. Which would give fireworks and we don't want those. Yeah. Got forty dollars from Joshua Ferris. Been watching all weekend and enjoying it the whole time. Y'all are doing this for a great cause. Put this towards PJ's choice. The firebars in this level are based on how you go through the level. So I slow down at a certain point so they'll all line up alright. And after World 6 and on, Bowser starts throwing axes. And when you have fire, you just kill them like normally. But when you're small, you can either be crazy risky and jump through them or just get lucky and have him jump over you. This level, this is my least favorite level in the entire game. The hammer bros in it are just super luck-based and stupid. So hopefully they're nice. First set was. Second set can just be a nightmare. Yeah. Him. <laughs> ah, okay, we just failed again. If that second set is anywhere but like both on top, it's just super risky to do anything.
you'll start to notice that they just kind of repeated levels and threw in some more enemies at this point, so... Or the blooper's random too. Yeah. I just have to see where they are and try and dodge them. Right here, they can be really bad. <laughs> ah, there's a fish right there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I usually go the top way, but there's a fish up there, so... <laughs> but the pooper would be in your way either way, I think, so... Yeah, they can be really trolly in that level, for sure. This game is just out to get you. <laughs> and these red Koopas on the ground, sometimes the fish will turn them around and it just messes with you. Casey Uleski. Haha, <laughs> yes. Now I have a $20 donation from Casey Uleski. Must donate for those Melee Grand Finals on the bonus stream. Team Cosmo. You have to go through the right way to advance through this level. We'll see if Bowser jumps for us. Nope. Is that Bowser jumps forward, not backward. Yeah. World 8 deaths are really costly because they stop having midway points. So, I'm try not to die. Yeah, I think we're going to cut out a risky strat up here. Yeah. Right there, you can only do a pipe jump that saves a second and a half and costs you a death if you miss it either way. So. Yeah, so you have to get through this crazy level in warps, and then right at the end you're just hoping that you hit the right part of the flagpole and get the frame rule, otherwise you reset. Three for three. Got a $64 donation from Robert Spear. The first live speedrun I watched watched was a race between Siglemic and Nero. It blew my mind and I never stopped watching. Keep it up, Sig. Hey, this is like the pinnacle of reacting to enemies. This level you gotta Yeah, see where all the hammer bros are. Third guy pulls a hammer. I... It's got like nerves of steel. He didn't even like. Yeah, I know. Yeah, nerves of steel. He like paused for a second to keep, to keep from getting the fire. Yeah. In the next room, there's a a wall jump. I'm gonna try and do. It's you have one pixel to jump off of for one frame. So. <laughs> oh. I didn't get it. I'll get a next try. And here. You uh, you load the next loading zone and then go in this one, and it can only have like one loading zone up on the screen at a time, so it's a little bit faster to do that. Right here, sometimes it's fire. Yeah, that was a bad one. So. Time. 
too. Nice. Wow. Shout outs to Cosmic for that awesome warpless run of Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. We got anything else in the bag? Yeah. You can get some. That's it. Oh, uh, okay. Now we're doing a warp run. Yeah. A warpless, oh, my bad. Well, let's go.